Hi everyone, I hope you're doing great today. Okay, so I took some time out of my very busy schedule to put out this video because this is one of those videos where it's a bit hard for me to speak. It's, it's difficult for me to talk because my heart is so heavy. I don't know how many people really know how much I love kids and this is why I mentor children a lot. I love them like Jesus. I can't even tell you how much. And when I see a child die, first thing that comes to mind is the number of years this child has caught ahead of him or her. That's why I was moved to put out the videos that I put out about the Travis Scott show massacre. Look at Sylvester promising, good-looking, boisterous, 12-year-old boy hacked down because of stupidity, because of hopelessness, because of lack of order and discipline. We just lost that boy. I was reading the news. It was very difficult to read, really. But I was reading it and I heard the parents saying that initially when they reported this thing to them from the school, the school authorities told them it was injury from playing soccer. And for me, I don't know what any other person thinks, but for me, I believe they were intentionally and willfully lying. And what that means is that the school authorities knew that these court activities were already prevalent, were already happening on their campus because if they didn't know that this was happening they wouldn't be lying intentionally to the parents of the deceased beautiful boy I also read a Sylvester named names they were asking him describe the private part the genitalia of your sisters. It's always something that has to do with sexual perversion. That's why in 2017, we heard the story of those high school boys. Look at the caption, screaming caption. It says, mass rape. Four students arrested for assaulting Lagos school girls in broad daylight. That's the caption. You, you don't need to read anything else. In broad daylight. How did we get here? Because many parents have no idea how much impact the media has on their children. It's always easy to come and discuss the disaster that has happened. We analyze the life of the victim and the circumstances that led to their death. But do we even take time to look at the possible causes of all these things? What do you think was motivating these boys that went to rape their fellow female students on the last day of school? It's the media. It's the media, I'm telling you the truth. When they tell you about the media content that your children are consuming, you think, oh, come on now. Don't, don't, don't be too fanatical, Joe. It's the media. The computer games, the squid games, and all the other things, the Fortnite games and the rest of them. It's the media. How much control have you got, really? How much control do you think you can have, really? The music they listen to, the animation videos they watch. Have you taken your time to go sit back and just watch and watch with them? Just see what they are looking at. Do you know that so many initiations into witchcraft have happened by just children sitting down and watching a very terrible horror movie? Have you not heard the stories? A child sits, not even children, even adults. You sit down, you're watching a movie, a horror film, and suddenly you're initiated. A child can become a killer by just watching. So there's a guy, a video that I, I was always using for my seminar, the preacher, and he was talking about how that 
Time magazine was doing an analysis on a particular animation video. I think it was even the Lion King or something. And he said that the children who watch Lion King today will become the killers of tomorrow. Há um vídeo chamado The Lion King, o Rei Leão, o Leão Rei. A revista Time disse que é o vídeo mais sujo, mais perverso e carregado de violência que nenhum outro vídeo a Disney jamais produziu. Que as crianças que olham o Lion King hoje serão os assassinos amanhã. Because you don't know these things as subliminal messages that are passed to the children. Subliminal message is something that is hidden below the threshold, threshold of consciousness. The thing is going into your soul, but your mind is not consciously able to ascertain that this thing is actually going into your soul. So the devil can use the media to plant all kinds of evil seeds into the souls of your children without them being aware that such a thing is happening. That's what is called subliminal messages. And almost 99% of all the media content that are made available to children today are filled with all manner of occultic, satanic, wicked, subliminal messages. The Bible says, study to show thyself a work man approved. Why should 12, 13, 14, 15 year olds be dealing with cult activities in high school? Something we used to say, oh, it only happens in colleges. It's now stepped down to high school because the devil just wants to. He's so desperate to destroy the innocence advantage that our children have. The soul that sinneth, it is the soul that sinned and dies. When a man is condemned to eternal death, it's your soul that gets punished in hell, not your physical body. So what the devil is doing right now, he is pushing so hard all the way down because he's already conquered the adults. He's coming all the way down to where our children are to break through the silver lining and invade their innocence and then take over their souls so he can also capture them young. I said this in one of my videos and one or two persons said, Joe, no, you can't talk like that. God wants us to increase and multiply. But listen, guys. If we cannot make out time to take care of these kids, trust me, there's no need hunting them. I'm being honest with you. There's no need. There was no oversight. The school is trying to tell us they don't know how court entered the school. Is it that one of the teachers in that school brought the court and started secretly initiating the children or the kids have just picked it up from somewhere? Because the children of these days, they don't listen to anybody anymore. They don't have any control anymore. Like one teacher was saying, he said, well, you don't have to blame the school authorities because parents of these days don't allow anybody to discipline their children or to even talk to them when they do something wrong. And that is true. I have seen this with my eyes. You pull out the best car in your garage to go and pick your secondary school student child. You have all kinds of cars and then you take Rolls Royce to go and bring the child. Oh, daddy, I want, I want the G-Wagon, the latest one. And then you use it to go and bring the child. Oh, I don't want my child to go through what I went through in life. No, never, never, never. By doing this, you have destroyed the same child. I don't want my child to go through what I went through. But what did you go through? Is that not what made you who you are today? Is that not what prepared you for the life you're living today? Because you think that going through stuff and suffering and having to go to the farm and suffer with your father and mother, that it was a disadvantage. No, that's an advantage. It is not something to look back at and then begin to regret. No. I used to go to the farm myself when my mother was going to teacher's training. I was doing farm. I was taking care of my grandmother, maternal grandmother. I would take her to the bathroom. I would bathe her, put the powder and the cream on her body, give her food to eat. I would cook for her. And then I would take my hoe and machete, go to the farm and go and cut the grasses, make the ridges and plant the seed and cut and put everything in the ground there. The same Joseph that you know today. I can still do those things today. I don't have a single regret about the life I lived in the past. And that's why my children will never be treated like... My children will be, if the housemaid in the house will be working with my children. If the maid is doing something, my child will be doing the same. Look, go and wash plate. I will make sure that they have the same routine. 
You end up raising another person's child in the name of maid, but your own are messed up. Years to come, they have not, there's nothing to take from them other than carrying books inside their head. And that's, they just, no human being found inside them. Not even up to 10% human being found inside the kids. Many of you are hiding your children abroad because they can't, you can't be bold enough to tell people that this, this is what came out of me and my wife. Guys, why are we lying to ourselves every time? Why? Why are we having these children? You are giving excuses. Eh, you know the way times are hard. I don't have time. Blah, blah, blah. And then, 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 then. Okay, you don't have time. You don't have time. Why are you having children? White people are more realistic. They say, well, I don't think I can handle it. I'm not having any child. So why are you having children? To me, it's better not to have children than to have them and let the devil come and take them as tools. We are basically, literally, working for Satan. Your children are among those who were trying to initiate another innocent boy at school. Your children are among those who want to kill this boy today. How proud are you as a parent? It's very unfortunate. It's very, very unfortunate. My heart is broken. My heart is torn to shreds for what has happened. And that's why I said we must cry out for justice for Sylvester. The school is being shut. I'm excited. I'm happy. But we're not going to stop there. The authorities need to go after all those students who were implicated in this madness. The kids need to be told that when you come to school, not even to talk of high school, you focus on your books and read. If this school was so wonderful and the kids were, I know how it is when you are in school, a good school. School work will almost drive you nuts. How much time did they, where did they get the time? I didn't even go to private secondary school. I went to government secondary school. We never had time for anything. You were so busy with school work. Year in, year out. How did they have all this time to be having meetings and doing initiations and doing all kinds of stuff? How? That school has a lot of questions to answer. And they must answer those questions because there must be justice for Sylvester. May God console his parents. And may God give the rest of us the grace, the grace, the grace, please, the grace, pray for it, to take care of our children. Parents, being a good parent is not providing for your child. It's not sending your rose rose to go and pick the child from school. It's not making sure that everything they say, before they say it, you make it available. That is nothing. That's not what it means. It is being able to preserve the soul of this child. Well, again, may God console the parents of Sylvester. May justice ring out loud. God bless you.